Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video I will take a look at how to use the text path element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok let's begin. The text path element as the name suggests allows you to place text along a specified path. I'm on the Country Butcher pre-built here and I have created a few examples of the element to look at. But to start I will just add the element here in a live example so we can go through the options. So when I add the element, we can see it has three tabs, a general tab, a design tab and an extras tab. The first option on the general tab is the path type. The element loads with the default path type wave 1, but there are 10 other options as well. Wave 2, arc, arc bottom, circle, oval, spiral 1, spiral 2, star, heart and custom. This last option allows you to upload your own custom SVG path. Just ensure it is a single path. But for this example let's choose a different path, let's say circle. Ok the next option is text. Let's add some text for our path. Now the text doesn't go all the way around our circle yet but let's keep going. As you can see the next option is link and with this you can link the element to another page or other website. And if I add a link of course you get another option of link target to specify how that link will open. Following this is alignment. By default it's set to text flow, but I will set it to center here. As you can see by the responsive icon here, you can also set alignment independently for different screen sizes. Then comes an option for text direction. By default it's left to right, but you can also set it to right to left. And after this are the usual element visibility, CSS class and CSS ID options. Ok so let's move to the design tab. This tab starts with the path width. This is in pixels and the default is 250. I'm going to make this path wider but let's look at the next few options first. So moving on the next option is rotate path. Now a circle might not be the best path type to illustrate this on so I will go back and change this to wave 2. And now when we come back to the design tab we can see that as I adjust the rotate path option the whole path is rotating. This is in degrees. And when I adjust the next option text starting point this just affects where along the path the text begins. This one is in percentages. So as you can see, a whole lot is going to depend on what sort of path you have chosen, as well as the length of your text and your typography options etc. Ok let's come back to circle and move on. Now just before the typography option is an interesting option called lock font size. It's important to know how this one works. By default it's on yes. This locks the font size to the value set in the typography option. And as the description says, if set to no, the font size will change with the path width based on the 250 pixel default width because of the SVG coordinate system. Ok so at the moment the path width is at 250 pixels, the font is using the default body font size and it's locked. So you can see that if I change the path width, the font stays the same size as it is. Now if I move to the typography option, and set a global style here, I will set this to the subheadings global style, and then override my font size to 15 pixels, we can see that the text now goes all the way around the circle. If I want to keep it like that as I adjust the size of the path, I need to unlock the font size so that it changes with the SVG coordinates. So if I do that, and then increase the path to 600 pixels, the font grows and still fits perfectly around the circle. In the typography options, it still shows at 15 pixels, but that's what size it is at the default path width of 250 pixels. With it at 600, well it would be 2.4 times that size. Ok let's move on. Under the typography set is of course a font colour option. I'm happy with the default which is colour 6, but of course this can be any colour you like. Text shadow is after this, and if we set this to yes we get three further options to control the position, blur radius and color of the shadow. So for example here I might add 5 pixels both vertically and horizontally, set the blur radius to 10, and set the color to color 6 and then just add minus 40 into the alpha channel to bring that effect down a little. Ok that looks good. Following this is a text stroke option. Again if you select yes you get further options in the form of text stroke, size and color. But for this example I will leave that on no. Following this is a word spacing option. You can use M's or pixels here to adjust the spacing between words. But for my example I will leave this option empty. 
Under this is a show path option, which as you can see just displays the path the text is on, and adds further options to control that. You can adjust the path stroke width and color, and you can also set a path fill color. This option works with all paths, but perhaps is best with closed paths like circle, oval, star, etc. Actually, this might be a good time to show you all the other paths. Here's wave 1, wave 2, arc, arc bottom, oval, spiral 1, spiral 2, star, and heart. Okay, let's go back to circle and come back to the design tab. For this example, I will turn show path back to no. Okay, now we have two animation options. The first of these is text animation. Setting this to yes gives three further options. Text animation along path direction, text animation font size factor, and text animation duration. So for example, if I set the animation duration to 15 seconds, and the direction to news ticker, we can see the animation. There is also left to right, right to left, and a custom option. The text animation effect will depend greatly on your shape, amount of text, and animation chosen, so experimentation is the best approach here. I'll just set text animation back to no. The second animation option is path animation. Setting this to yes gives us three further options, and as you can see, scale is the default. Apart from scale, there is wiggle, slide horizontally, slide vertically, and rotate. For this example, I might set it back to scale, leave it on the default of 1.1, and adjust the animation duration to 10 seconds. Okay, the last two options are padding and margins for the element as a whole, and they also have responsive options for the different screen sizes. On the Extras tab, there is just the usual element animation options for controlling the entry animation. Let's try Fade from the top at 2 seconds. Okay, cool. That's the text path element. As you can imagine, this could be used in a huge amount of ways. Let's just now look at a few examples of it. I'll just move over to a page I made earlier, and here we can see the first example. It's also on a circle path, but this example has an image element added beneath it and then by using a negative bottom margin on the text path element, I have brought it down to a line to the center of the image. Okay, the next example is using the circle path as well, but there's only enough text to go less than halfway around, and I have adjusted the rotation of the path. With this, I also added a positive translate x value on hover for the first column, and a negative translate x value on hover for the second column. So you can see there are plenty of ways you can use this element in conjunction with other elements and column and container effects. Below this is an example of using the text path element in a postcard, with the text wrapping around the featured image. And below this I have examples of the wave path, an oval with an image, the heart path with an image, the spiral paths, and the star path. Keep an eye out for examples of this element created by our designers and added into the pre-builts and Avada Studio. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.